In trading, several technical indicators are utilized to predict future price movements. One such critical signal is the death cross. Often feared by traders, this indicator is established when a short-term moving average, such as the 50-day moving average, crosses below a long-term moving average like the 200-day moving average. This pattern indicates potential bearish market conditions on the horizon. The death cross is essentially a prediction for future market downturns. It warns of potential substantial selling pressure, prompting investors to either exit positions or strategically brace for potential losses. This signal may not always accurately predict market drops as false signals can occur, leading to potential losses if not properly managed. To avoid losses from false signals, traders need an understanding of other market indicators along with the death cross. These may include trends in market volume, overall market sentiment, and financial news. This comprehensive strategy helps traders make more informed and potentially successful investment decisions. There are different strategies utilized when the death cross appears. A key strategy for traders is to employ defensive techniques and to limit possible losses during a predicted market downturn. The incorporation of stop-loss orders and diversification of investment portfolios are some defensively employed techniques. Another plausible strategy involves short selling. Traders who are more aggressive or have a higher risk tolerance may opt to short sell. This strategy involves selling an asset that the trader does not own on the prediction that its price will decline, allowing repurchase at a lower price. However, this approach carries considerable risk, as potential losses are theoretically infinite. If the asset's price increases instead of decreasing, the trader will be obligated to purchase the asset at a higher price than they sold it for, incurring a loss. Regardless of the strategy chosen, risk management is essential in trading. This includes setting a losing limit, maintaining a well-balanced portfolio, and being patient and disciplined enough not to let emotions such as fear or greed drive decision-making. The death cross is not infallible. It is important to remember that while this tool can provide us with insights in trading, there's no guarantee of outcomes. A comprehensive understanding of the overall market climate and careful strategic planning is just as important. It is crucial for traders to observe the death cross in the context of other signals and market trends. This can help in isolating false signals, thus better informing decisions. It is not advisable to base trading decisions on a single market indicator like the death cross. In summary, the death cross is a robust technical indicator that signals potential downside. Yet, it must be remembered that it is not foolproof and should be used in conjunction with other market indicators. Always approach trading decisions with sufficient knowledge and caution.